FMA enhancements. In this section, we will review all enhancements made to FMA. Click on each card to see what you will learn in this module. Localhost Cache is an important and welcome new feature in the ZenApp and Zen Desktop 7.12 release. It brings superior resiliency over any previous ZenApp Zen Desktop versions and closes one of the major feature gaps that existed between IMA-based ZenApp and FMA-based ZenApp Zen Desktop. Click on each of the cards to find out what you will learn in this lesson. So what exactly does the new localhost cache feature bring to ZenApp and Zen Desktop? Localhost cache, or LHC, allows connection brokering operations to continue when normal operations are interrupted due to loss of connection with the site database. The new LHC feature brings a high availability brokering solution for FMA-based ZenApp and Zen Desktop. It works out of the box and LHC uses a local SQL Server Express database which is a relatively lightweight installation. The LHC database does not require maintenance or backup and the software is installed as part of the broker installation. In other words, the LHC database is not an administrative burden. The database itself will be wiped and rebuilt each time the configuration is imported from the main database. With LHC, sessions can be brokered to connect users to apps and desktops they haven't previously connected to. This capability is unsupported with connection leasing. Using the same brokering logic as when connections to the site database is up, LHC also provides a more robust, high availability solution than connection leasing. In a Citrix cloud deployment, LHC can handle cloud-based delivery controller outages, and that can happen in a number of different ways, not just due to an internet connection outage. So any disruption to the cloud-based delivery controller will mean a switch to the LHC local solution that doesn't depend on the cloud control plane. Why is LHC needed? Well, on premise, the central database is a single point of failure for FMA based ZenApp and Zen Desktop. You can have high availability databases, but they are challenging to maintain and they are expensive. And despite having a fault tolerant SQL Server deployment, network issues and interruptions still may result in users not being able to connect to their applications or desktops. And if the connection to the cloud control plane is lost, then this means the connection to the delivery controller, the site database, and the ability to broker new connections is also lost. So why is LHC the preferred high availability solution for ZenApp and Zen Desktop environments? Connection leasing was a partial solution to disrupted site database connections in previous ZenApp and Zen Desktop releases since 7.6, but is quite limited in its functionality and comes with a number of caveats and restrictions. As an example, under connection leasing, if a user had previously connected to Outlook and the site database becomes unavailable, the user could still connect to Outlook due to their connection lease, but not to an app or desktop that they hadn't previously connected to. Connection leasing is not supported in the cloud. Lease propagation only happens on delivery controllers, and so becomes unviable when the connection to the cloud is lost. The introduction of LHC closes one of the major feature gaps between IMA-based ZenApp and FMA-based ZenApp Zen Desktop. Beginning with the 7.12 release, connection leasing is disabled by default. However, if you upgrade to ZenApp and Zen Desktop 7.12 from a site where connection leasing is enabled, the upgraded site will still have connection leasing enabled and localhost cache will be disabled. Localhost cache will be enabled only after a fresh install of ZenApp and Zen Desktop 7.12 or an upgrade from a site where connection leasing is disabled. What are the limitations of LHC? While LHC provides a complete high availability solution for brokering connections, there are some restrictions. You cannot use Studio or run PowerShell command, so site configuration changes cannot be made during site database outages. ZenApp and Zen Desktop cannot interact with the hypervisor during site database outages. MCS provisioning cannot be performed during this time. So LHC can only broker connections for machines that already exist and are powered on. 
If a user has not been assigned a machine before the connection to the central database has been lost, that user cannot be assigned on first use after the connection is lost. The shutdown after use, or tainted machines, are placed into maintenance mode. If a user has finished with a machine and it needs to be shut down and cleaned ready for a new user, this task cannot be performed as it requires the central database to be available. And finally, during an outage period, anonymous session launch requests are rejected. Click the tabs to see how LHC works in different environments. How does LHC work on-premise during normal operations? Here we have a diagram that should help you understand. The principal broker, the Citrix broker service, on a controller accepts connection requests from storefront and communicates with the site database to connect users with VDAs that are registered with the controller. A check is made every two minutes to determine whether changes have been made to the principal broker's configuration. Those changes could have been initiated by configuration actions such as changing a delivery group property or system actions such as mach machine assignments. If a change has been made since the last check, the principal broker uses the Citrix Config Synchronizer Service, or CSS, to copy information to a secondary broker on the controller. All broken configuration data is copied, not just the items that have changed since the previous check. The secondary broker imports the data into a Microsoft SQL Server Express local database, or local DB, on the controller. The CSS ensures that the information in the secondary broker's local DB matches the information in the site database. The local DB is recreated each time the synchronization occurs. If no changes have occurred since the last check, no data is copied. Finally, from an administrative point of view, it will be useful to know that the secondary broker's role runs as a Windows service called Citrix High Availability Service. And what we've abbreviated in the diagram as Config Sync, or the Configuration Synchronizer, runs a Windows service called Citrix Config Synchronizer Service. How does LHC work on premise during an outage? When an outage begins, the principal broker can no longer communicate with the site database and stops listening for storefront and VDA information. We've marked this with X's in the diagram. The principal broker then instructs the secondary broker the high availability service, to start listening for and processing connection requests. This is marked with a red dashed line in the diagram. When the outage begins, the secondary broker has no current VDA registration data, but as soon as the VDA communicates with it, a re-registration process is triggered. During that process, the secondary broker also gets current session information about that VDA. While the secondary broker is handling connections, the principal broker continues to monitor the connection to the site database. When the connection is restored, the principal broker instructs the secondary broker to stop listening for connection information and the principal broker resumes brokering operations. The next time a VDA communicates with the principal broker, a re-registration process is triggered. The secondary broker removes any remaining VDA registrations that occurred during the previous outage and resumes updating the local DB with configuration changes it received from the CSS. In the unlikely event that an outage begins during a synchronization, the current import is discarded and the last known configuration is used. There is a point to make now that we've completed the high-level view of the operation of LHC, and that is that in an outage mode, only one secondary broker in a zone becomes active. So if there's more than one delivery controller, the active secondary broker is chosen through an election mechanism. This avoids inconsistencies, but can limit scalability. So how does LHC work in an environment that is connected to Citrix Cloud? Where the Citrix environment includes a Citrix Cloud-based control plane, how LHC works is very similar to the on-premise operation. Citrix Cloud hosts the delivery controller. So instead of a local primary broker, there is a ZenApp Zen Desktop Proxy, also called the Remote Broker. Its task is similar to that of the on-premise primary broker in that it listens for storefront and VDA requests. The difference is that the proxy routes the request to the delivery controller in the cloud control plane. Synchronization of the cloud-based central database to the LHC local DB on the proxy occurs in the same way as in the on-premise case. 
In an outage mode situation, the LHC operation is also identical to that of the on-premise case. There is one thing to note though. In an environment that leverages cloud-based services, storefront may not be on-premise. So if users are to continue during an outage due to a WAN link failure, a local storefront system will be needed, and that assumption has been made in this diagram. Click the tabs to see how to troubleshoot. How can we troubleshoot configuration synchronization by checking Windows event logs? Configuration synchronization changes occur when the LHC local DB is updated from the central site database. If there has not been a need for configuration change, then no events are logged by the Citrix Config Sync Service, or CSS, on the secondary broker. If the CSS receives a configuration change, it logs event ID 503. If the local DB was then successfully updated, it logs event ID 504. If the update fails, it logs event 505. There may be situations where a deeper investigation of configuration synchronization is required, and for this we will need CDF traces. Select the images below for more information. Start how can we troubleshoot configuration synchronization by analyzing CDF traces? The CSS logs to CDF under the module name Config Sync Server. So look for errors in this module because it can provide additional details about the possible cause. Configuration synchronization is performed by Citrix SDK calls. Synchronization reports that log the sequential SDK calls can be generated and written to HTML format. And here we see how to enable this. Be aware that synchronization reports should only be enabled while generating the data for analysis. This is because it creates a significant overhead and would drastically slow down CSS synchronization in large sites. Click the tabs to see how to troubleshoot during outages. How can we troubleshoot LHC during outages by checking Windows event logs? During outages, we may need to prove that the secondary broker has taken over the brokering role from the primary. The Citrix High Availability Service, the LHC service, is installed by default on a ZenApp Zen Desktop delivery controller. So the event logs will show brokering entries from both the primary during normal operations and from the secondary broker during outages, but only the secondary broker logs its event source as Citrix High Availability Service. Here we also see typical Windows event entries that are logged during the transition from normal operations to outage mode and back to normal mode. In the cloud, the ZenApp Zen Desktop proxy also logs events. You will be able to see whether the proxy, as a secondary broker, is currently brokering or whether the delivery controller in the Citrix cloud-based control plane is brokering and why. How can we troubleshoot LHC during outages by analyzing CDF traces? Because primary and secondary brokers share the same brokering logic, use the process ID to distinguish between their respective roles in the CDF trace. Since the LHC does more than just taking over the brokering role from the primary broker, there are other tasks that can be identified in CDF traces. For instance, secondary controller elections taking place, who's winning them, whether the secondary broker has been asked to take over, whether it succeeded or not, and whether any errors were thrown. Include the new Broker LHS module in CDF tracing to provide additional detail. Please refer to the Local Host Cache document in the Additional Resources pane for a more complete understanding of the new Local Host Cache feature, including design considerations and requirements.